I got these earth bulbs from consumers for free. I did a video on it recently. And I love these bulbs. The only fault with them I had was that um, when I used two of them together in this fixture, my X10 will no longer communicate with them. My X10 remote will no longer communicate a dimming signal or an on-off signal. I can still go to the wall plate and control it, but I it's just blinded once I got two bulbs in. One bulb and an incandescent with it. It's the same fix I've used all over the place for uh, CFLs and LED bulbs that won't dim. I usually pair them with an incandescent. They tell you not to do that, but it seems to work in most cases. Of course, this could be dangerous to your bulb if it's not intended for dimming. So this X10 dimmer stopped working I didn't make the connection, but I believe it's because of my LED bulb I put in there about a month or two back. See, I can't dim it. I can't turn it off. Run. Not an ideal fixture for um, a CFL or an LED because of heat. Fortunately, the LED bulb doesn't get very hot at all in here. But I don't know if I could use a CFL in there without it overheating and bang, like most of my CFLs have done. Okay, incandescent bulb installed. And remote controls again. So I've had this plate off for a long time. Trying to figure this out, I was going to order a new unit, and it's not the problem all along. Let's try to find the plate and the screws after a few months of being banged around. That's a shame though, I don't really want to burn an incandescent in this outlet if I don't have to. Because this lights on a lot. And now I've put in an Earthtronics bulb. Cool, that'll work. Although it won't shut off all the way. <laughs> wow. That's pretty bad for not shutting off all the way. I thought you're doing dim, I'm just doing on off. Although, for a bathroom, a little standby light won't really hurt. I could actually uh, make up the power difference by unplugging one of these guys. I got two different uh, night lights in here. So I could just eliminate my night lights. Alright, well, at least I got a solution with the Earthtronics bulb, even though it doesn't turn all the way off. The bulb that was in there was a Cree. A real live Cree from John Audiotech. Still works, but it's creating uh, probably too much noise. That's something I'm going to have to study. It's either too much capacitance or too much noise to allow the X10 signal to get to the. Um, well, what is it doing? It's on the load side, which is kind of strange that it would, you know, damper the whole signal out. Well, that's it for my bathroom. I guess I have another parameter I gotta uh, check when I'm comparing LED bulbs. Are they X10 compatible? Do they make too much noise? Or what?